What is up guys? I am the Overlord bringing you another episode of It's Over Gaming. Now today I want to start a new segment on the show where I'm going to be asking you questions and I want you guys to leave your opinions down in the comment section. Today's question is going to be, who are your top five favorite players? Now, these players don't have to be big on production. They don't have to really stand out in any way. It's just who gets you excited for the game or what players do you like watching play without any further ado here are my top five now five is going to be Patrick Mahomes the reason I like this guy I've been watching all the preseason highlights to every player and he's just stood out to me this guy has a cannon arm he's great out of the pocket and he seems very mobile I really think Kansas City got a steal when they picked this guy up. Now, at four, it's going to be Deshaun Jackson. Now, he might not just be one of the absolute greatest plays, but the thing that got me into this guy, especially when he very first came in the league, was that big play capability. He can make a play out of anything, and I always thought that was cool. He's also one of the first players I ever saw to have a walk-off touchdown, and I thought it was really cool. Now, three is going to be Devontae Freeman. As a like-minded small guy, I think it's cool how big of a guy, uh, impact this guy is having in the NFL, and also I love his humbleness. Anytime you see him on an interview, he loves to say, it's because of my offensive line, it's because of my offense, it's because of the scheme we're in. He does not like to put it on himself. He likes to spread it to the team, and I think that's a really cool part of him. Now, number two is Hunter Henry. Now, you heard me talk about it in the Chargers video. This guy's stats in his rookie year was absolutely amazing, especially once you consider that he was still only a backup behind Antonio Gates. And I think that's another cool thing about him is that before he really starts his career, he's going to be coached up for two years by Antonio Gates. That is absolutely insane. Now, number one, and some of you probably guessed this, I think I said that I think I've told y'all who my favorite team is. If I haven't, my favorite team is the Atlanta Falcons, and my favorite player of all time is Matty Ice. I've been watching this guy since he was in Boston College. Uh, the thing I like the most about him is his comebacks. He is one of the best quarterbacks of leading a drive when they are down, and I think that's absolutely amazing. I think at one time throughout his first like seven or so years, he had already had like 19 NFL comebacks. That's absolutely amazing. With that being said, we're going to jump into this week's episode. Let's get Okay, guys, here we are starting our first drive of the day, and the defense has already stopped Tennessee once. Let's start this game off by running Leonard Fournette off the right side. Ooh, he absolutely trucked the safety. We know like last episode, his quarterback is not afraid to throw blocks for him either. So I did up my carrying a little bit, so I got a little brave there, and uh, he did not fall for my duke at all. My carrying is right at an 80 now, I think. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right, we're going Leonard Fournette. He hits the guy and falls forward. It's going to be a second and eight there. What's up? Alright, I thought we were going to get the screen to Westbrook. It looks like it's going to Lee here. We pick up the first down there, and that'll be our first completion of the game. General manager, personnel department, college scouts, all came together. They evaluated it very well and got a nice payoff. All right, we're going to run Leonard Fournette off the left side here. And here he goes picking up some more yards. I love actually having a run game. It takes so much of the pressure off of me. 
second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. They're going to look to throw. We hit him on a quick strike here. It will be a first down, but it will not be a touchdown. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Mm. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make Let's try to run here. Actually, they're bunching it up. Let's see if we can catch them on a, Let's see if we can catch them on the play action here. They get us there. And that'll be second and goal. Coming on the blitz. I should have known with the way that they were stacking the box that if we were going to try and pass, it should have probably been out of the shotgun or something like that. We try and get the ball there to Leonard Fournette on that cut, and we wind up getting hit for the incompletion. All right, we're going three wide. To try and keep your quarterback upright. Didn't work on that play. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Flushed out right. He can run for it and he will. That's it. I don't know what that flag's on. We tried to beam it in there to Lewis. Wow, I had ran out of pocket already. All right, horrible mistake there by the rookie on that last drive, but the defense does hold. So uh, let's go back and thank them for holding. The Giants host the Lions. So the Giants play on Sunday night and Monday night to open the season. Ah, he couldn't keep his feet in to make my catch there. I tried to get out of pocket, but by that time I kind of ran myself into a weird angle. Both uh, angle. There we hit Lewis. Lewis is making moves, and there's the first down. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. So I saw an interesting fact yesterday. Uh, a YouTube video came up for uh, top 10 rookie uh, debut performances. And I was watching the stats that Marcus Mariota put up. Now, I know we gave it appreciation with it being a four-touchdown day in his debut and everything, and he threw for, like, 427, something like that. No, I'm wrong. He didn't have that many yards. He actually had less yards. It was Cam Newton that threw for a lot of yards. But Mariota threw for, like, 219, 240, and four touchdowns. But the thing that got me, in his debut, he set a record for in his debut, he had more touchdowns than he had incompletions. On the day, he only had two incompletions, but he had four touchdowns. That is absolutely insane, and I did not know that. Oh, we're going to throw that one away. They got really good pressure on us there. I did not want to take that sack. My good friend, I'm just going to pose the question to you. Did that look like a pass that he should have thrown? Now, the rookie probably needs to be a little bit more careful in these situations. Yeah, that throw will turn him into a veteran quicker, but not in the way that he wants. He wants to learn his lessons by making good throws, not throws like that. They'll get nine there. All right, third and one here on the one, and we're going to try... Second down. That was a positive play because that's no. a tip, which you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now gives a much better opportunity. Let's to try this. We're gonna run Leonard Fournette off the right side here, and he gets it. That'll give us the lead. Here comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. All right, we're going to run Leonard Fournette here right up the middle and see what he can get. I feel like he bounced that one a little bit too far. He could have got better yardage if he picked his hole better. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back with more from Jacksonville. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. All right, so we've got a nine-point lead here. And it would significantly hurt their chances if we could put it at the end put it in the end zone at the end of this drive 
I don't know what I'm doing there. I like it when he just flops. You see him come in for the block now. <laughs> oh. Alright, third and eight here. And, guess what? and we need to try and pick this up. So, like I was talking about a second ago, we'll have a chance to put this one in the end zone. We do have somebody playing one deep, but that's not going to work for us and we get sacked. I was spending so much time seeing if that shot was open that I didn't watch the pressure coming in. All right, so they don't score, and we actually get the ball back with a minute to go. And let's see if we can do it here. Actually, let's put Lee on the stop. Put Westbrook on the shot. And put, who is that, Hearns on the slant. All right, we get it complete to Fournette. And we do pick up the first down here, and from here we will go hurry up. Alright, we hit four net again. Go out, step out, step out. Alright, he didn't step out for us. We'll call a play from there. We'll go with stick. We get a compulsion to Westbrook, and I think he did step out. They're saying he didn't, so we are going to call one timeout. Right. What do we think we can catch them with here? Let's try this go double post, and maybe we can get probably Lewis right there over the middle. Nope. Nothing there. And we're going to run this one in. And that'll be our first touchdown on the ground. Alright. Now exactly what we said happened. We go up by 15, and it's the start of the third quarter. And we definitely have our foot on their necks here. And there goes Fournette picking up some great yards. I really like having this guy as our running back. I'm, words cannot explain how excited I am. I wish I could have given him that ball. I, I saw him, but I was on the run, and I kind of didn't remember whether I could throw on the run or not. So I was like, do I hit it, dude? <laughs> Alright, with them trying to stack the box here, we're going to put Fournette out on a swing. We try to hit Lewis. I've noticed every now and then when you try that touch pass, I don't know if it's because your accuracy isn't just great and you're trying not only a throw, but like a targeted throw almost. But I noticed that every now and then you just have that touch pass sell on you. You wind up way overthrowing it when you go to. Now we hit Hearns there, but he has stone hands for a second. I don't know what that's about. Now we ran four verticals, but we flipped the formation and put them to that side. I don't know why, but it's something I like doing. I think if you call that at the line, sometimes you wind up finding something open. Oh my god! Oh, that was great! Please let me see the Wow, that was a play. Now we're up 21-0 here, 
And after that last play, I am absolutely ecstatic. Uh, we had a guy open there with B, but I didn't want to try and plant and make that throw, which could have possibly been an interception. Because we're going to try and have a no interception game here. So, they want us to chew some clock here. So, it's second and ten. Let's try and run the ball off the right side. He picks up his block, but he stumbles after it. He's going to get some yards for us there, but not anything amazing. And we will go try and pick up the third down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They wanted it every position, and we just saw there some linebackers in the sideline. Alan Hearns is getting way played up. Hopefully, he can make something out of this, and we'll make the defense play for playing that tight on him. He does not. We're going to throw the completion. I know it wasn't going to get us the first down, but I figured the longer we take this, the more we'll chew off that clock and get that drive goal, maybe. Okay, so Tennessee finally does score here, and now it's going to be 21-7, to but our lead is still very much in the books, and there goes Fournette for a couple more yards. We're going to let that take us to the end of the third quarter. Alright, second and seven. Now we're going to watch this play here, the screen here to Lee. We do wind up throwing it, and at the time, his man comes off the blocks. That's the one thing. I'm not crazy about the play action because I feel like by the time you do the play action and get them the ball, the, the man that the other wide receivers were screening are off of their blocks. All right, we're going to run this one because we know we can pick it up. And step out there. I really am not a fan of running quarterbacks. I feel like your job is the, uh, your job is to throw the ball. But, however, right there we overthrow. I think that's Westbrook. But, however, the only time I really appreciate a quarterback that can run out of pocket is when it's to keep that drive alive. So that is what I try and do most of the time. You're really not going to see me just running downfield just to try and make plays, and there we get hit. I kind of fumbled the stick there, and you saw my guy shake up. He didn't get rid of the football there, took the sack. Although that's easier said than done. He can't just chuck the thing sideways into the seats. No, he really can't because you're not afforded total protection as a quarterback. You have to get outside of the tackle boxes as defined by the NFL. We throw one there to Lee. He catches it wide open, and that might be it is a touchdown. That will pretty much definitely secure this victory for us. All right, first and ten in the fourth quarter, and we're going to start running this clock out. I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments. And no All right, Fournette again here to the right side. Like I was saying, we're only going to try to pick up the third down when it comes to the uh, to pick up the first down. When it comes to the third down, it's going to be the only the only down I just try to throw on. Now, right there, we pick up the first down for us, and I step out. I know stepping out stops the clock. And I know technically that could be a mistake that I'm making, but I was just trying to pick up that first down. I guess technically I should have slid, 
but we'll just go right back to the run and make up for that. It's like he's getting some really decent yards, but he can't get like that, let's say like that second level block to just really blow up the play, if you understand what I'm saying. Oh, he makes a move there, though. 14 rushes for 33 yards. I mean, the sad thing is he's... <laughs> That's not going to help him look great, but he's been playing so good for us. And I, I really feel bad about that, but I don't know how to fix it. That was a questionable throw there. I probably would have been better off not putting that one in the air, but we're ahead by three scores, so it'll be all right. <laughs> And that will be the end of the game, guys. Our final is going to be 28 to 7. I don't know exactly. We had, let's see, 249 and two touchdowns, no picks, and one rushing touchdown. That's good enough for me. Uh, if you like this kind of, uh, this video, please like and subscribe. Leave any comments that you might have down in the comments section. You guys have been awesome. I have been the Overlord. And this is over.